Now the inflation figures during the week are pointing to more pain for those with mortgages. Time to talk property and joining me is Angus Moore from PropTrack. Angus, first up, let's talk about those inflation figures during the week and almost certainly we will see a rate rise uh, in Feb, early Feb. Yeah, good morning, Tim. Uh, you know, unfortunately for mortgage holders, I think you're probably right. Inflation data came in pretty strong for the December quarter, broadly in line with what the RBA was expecting. Headline inflation was just a little bit below what they were forecasting, which in the context of, you know, circa 8% inflation, I think we can call broadly in line. So given those strong inflationary pressures, I think we'll see the RBA kick off the year with an interest rate rise, and we'll probably expect to see two or three further rises across this year. That's going to add a lot to mortgage costs and you know, already has given the, the very quick pace of interest rate rises that we saw across last year. But I think we will start to see the RBA slow down later in the year. They've obviously risen a long way and we'll want to kind of pause and see what effect that's having, particularly as people start to roll off their fixed mortgage rates. Yeah, absolutely. And, and all the talk about the cliff. Now, uh, everyone says it was generally recognised that after Australia Day, the world sort of wobbles back into shape. What, what's the latest with auctions today? Uh, look, it is still going to be a quiet weekend this weekend, which is pretty normal for this time of year. January tends to be pretty quiet on the auction front, but we'll start to see activity really ramp up in February ahead of the autumn selling season. So still quiet, a bit hard to get a read on where the broad market conditions are sitting as, as a result. You know, everyone's been on holiday, so in, in some sense, the market conditions are at the beach. See you later. But there's not a lot to suggest that things have changed from uh, where they were late last year. We were still seeing prices nationally fall last year. So the PropTrack Home Price Index showed that prices fell 0.2% in December. That's not as quick as the price falls we were seeing earlier in the year when the RBA was raising by 50 basis points each month. But Prices are still falling and we're seeing prices fall pretty broadly. Similarly, other measures are showing that things are a little bit weaker than they were early in 2022. You know, it's taking a bit longer to sell homes, clearance rates were a bit softer. So we'd probably expect to start the year in a, a pretty similar position. Yeah, logic would dictate that those prices are going to continue to drop, particularly when you think about those honeymoon rates and people coming off those honeymoon rates. The inability to take more money from the bank means the houses are going to drop. That's the basic logic, isn't it? You're exactly right. You know, the, the way that I tend to think about this is what can new borrowers borrow from a bank? So if you're going as a new borrower, how much can you borrow? That dictates in many ways how much you're willing to pay. What we've seen since sort of May last year or even, you know, a little bit earlier when fixed rates were very cheap, borrowing capacity for new borrowers is down something like a quarter to even a bit more depending on the type of borrower. That's oh, going to fall even mm. further as interest rates rise. Yeah, absolutely. Overseas renters interested in the Australian market? Yeah, there certainly is. We've got our overseas search report out this morning and what we're seeing is a big increase in rent searches from overseas. So it's up something like nearly two thirds compared to a year ago. That's a big increase. Now, obviously January is the busiest time of the year in the rental market. Typically, it's when a lot of leases change over. It's when a lot of people look for a new rental to start the year. But that extra demand coming from overseas is certainly going to be adding to the already pretty tight rental market that we're seeing. It is a challenging place, isn't it, the rental market at the moment? Unfortunately, it is. It's a, it's a story we've been talking about for a long time, and there's unfortunately not a lot of good news for renters on that front. We're seeing basically right across the country extremely tight rental markets. Rental vacancy rates, which measure how many available rentals there are you know, at the moment relative to the size of the total renter market, so number of renters in total, they're sitting sort of one to two percent, which is incredibly low, and you know much lower than it was pre-pandemic. And in some markets like um, Adelaide or even Hobart, we're seeing sub one percent vacancy rates. What that means is it's just extremely competitive to get a rental, and we're seeing advertised rents grow very, very quickly as a result. Over the past year, they're up a little bit under seven percent nationally, so very brisk. We've seen people trying to either build a home or do renovations struggle with cost. And this is a difficult thing. I've got plenty of mates that are builders. Uh, building costs have been really challenging. What's the latest there? Yeah, they, they certainly have. And the latest is that it hasn't gotten any easier, really. Uh, we had data out from the ABS yesterday on construction costs. What it showed is that input costs to building a home, so just for raw materials and the inputs that go into building a detached house, we're up 2.2% in the three months between September and December. That's To put that in context, that's more like what we normally see over a year. So to see that in three months is pretty brisk pace. Now, 
the, the maybe silver lining here is that that's actually slower than we have been seeing for recent 18 months. So while it's still extremely brisk, it's not as brisk as we were seeing. So some silver lining, but even so, you know, input and output costs are up sort of circa 15 to 20% to build a home over the past year, which is just making it extremely difficult for builders to, to source raw materials and, and that cost is making it very difficult to build new homes. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Angus, always good to chat. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me, Tim. Thank you.